A home construction is nothing new to most neighborhoods. But this particular construction is building quite an attraction. Some are even taking photos of the place. So I'm here with Matt from uh, Dovetail USA and we are delivering a modular home and I thought it'd be a good idea. That's right. You heard correctly. This is a modular home construction and the home is being delivered in six pieces on truck beds and then will be put together in just a few hours. But the question is, why would someone want to do this? It's the same cost, but it's, it's a stronger, it's better built, and it's much faster. Much, I mean, we're, we're at um, day 24, we broke ground 24 days ago, and we're 75% complete in 24 days. So you can save a lot of time, and, it, and to, to withstand the transportation, it has to be over-engineered, so it's a lot, a lot more lumber, a lot, it's just much stronger. Naturally, the biggest concern of the day was the weather. I, was, I, I thought it was going to be raining today, and it, it's been rain, so uh, it's just one of those things where... It worked out well, yeah. It worked out really nicely. Yeah, absolutely. We started around 9, and here it is, what is it, 1.40, and we're almost wrapping it up. It's uh, a nice day to work. So who is the brainchild of such an idea? It's none other than Frank Yosa, a local real estate extraordinaire. Hey, this is Frank Yosa from uh, blog.franklyrealty.com. And a little story here for you today. My client tried to buy that house right there and they lost on, it wasn't a bidding war, it was, uh, we were just too aggressive and we lost on the trying to buy the house. But then a lot came up, opened a couple doors down, so we decided to buy that lot. And today it was the delivery of that home. And within five hours, the house was delivered in six parts. What was it, six parts? Six boxes. Six boxes on uh, tractor trailers from Pennsylvania. Uh, so, tell us the timeline. We, we closed on the land in, what month did we close on the land? Like January? September? September, was it? The, it okay. was early, and then we went to a design phase. Um, we got a permit, a building permit on March 30th. Today is April 24th, so in 24 days, about 24 days, we went from, you know, just an empty lot to this. Finished house, not finished, it's 75% finished. The tile's in, the granite's in, the cabinets are set. Um, drywall's up, plumbing's in, uh, so we're about 75% done in 24 days. So, uh, can you go over the process as far as from once they've said, you know, we've decided to use your company to designing, picking out tile, and then where it actually gets built? So, yeah, so we start off with, uh, we'll consult with uh, the homeowner, go over some different ideas, get a feel for what they want, then we'll sit down and draw it up ourselves. Um, we used uh, Chief Architect software to design the house. And then we take those, once the customer is okay with the drawings, with, with, once they're happy, that is sent off to the modular manufacturer in uh, Pennsylvania, where they re-engineer it so that it can be built modularly. And then the house goes into construction at the plant. Um, uh, this house, this six box house was built in the factory in seven days. Wow. And it's, um, it's in a factory controlled environment, so it uh, never gets wet. It's, um, it's, it's just built in... Uh, you know, an amazing fashion. So it's speed and quality. So about when that's being built in the factory, we start here with the groundworks, the foundation and the basement. So they're basically going in parallel. And then if we do our homework, the house shows up at the same time the foundation's ready for the house to be set. Once the home was completed, we were able to get an exclusive tour of the property. An adventurous one at that. Going into the house for the first time now. Is that, our, is, that our, is that our official stair system? <coughs> is this how the homeowner expects to get into their house every time? Uh, well, they pay extra for that? Yeah, stairs are extra. You know, we, we just assume <laughs> you like to come in and out of your house this way. So the one price you know, just doesn't include some of the things like stairs? As we walked around the place, it was amazing how much of the house was completed. This is incredible. I, you know, I, it's the first time I'm getting to see it. You know, besides in pieces in the factory, this is just so great. See it all come together. You, know, you see it in 3D when you're designing it, but this is this is just great. I mean, this this whole area just flows so well. Um, this dining room in, in this, this side hallway. I mean, we were worried a little bit initially when we first designed this hallway that it might feel a little constricted, but we opened this up. Yeah, I think it, it's, it feels Amazing. broad. It feels great. <clears throat> so where are the pieces that met together? Right here. This is the bare part right here. This part right this here, huh? And, and that'll disappear. See, we put coffers. 
coffers in the uh, ceiling and, and we have a tray ceiling here, so that's all going to disappear. You won't, you won't be able to tell right here. You know how to walk up a stringer? I should get that from my house. <laughs> it's very modern and min minimalist. That's why he's going to nail this down. This is the master bath, so, uh, you know, in this case, the uh, homeowners decided for a, a jacuzzi uh, waterfall uh, tub filler. Um, it's, it's a really nice, and then this will be, you know, we do the glass enclosures after the house is set. Um, so we got a really Gucci shower here. We got rain shower above, shower head here, two body sprays. Um, we got the diverters, everything on the side. Put them there specifically because when you want to turn on the shower, open up the door and reach around as opposed to reaching all the way in, getting wet on the way out. So, um, you know, little design touches like that that are you know, that add up to a lot in the long run. Um, You've got skylights here, two of them. This is the southern exposure, so it's going to really flood this area with light. So when do you think they'll move in again? About 60 to 90 days um, from today. So why does it take 60 to 90 days? Oh, we got to uh, frame out the basement, you know, finish it. we got to pass all the inspections. I mean, there's a lot of inspections that have to happen. we got to put in utilities. We're on the, uh, largely on the utility company's schedule to, you know, come in, bring in gas and, wa and electric and water too. This might end up being the future of construction. Thanks for watching. This is Ray with Videos by Address.